Okay, I've had requests to do question number five, B, part one. Um, from October, February, March 2017. It's an algebraic fraction question. Actually, it's good that this request came because this is something which I feel will come up in tomorrow's paper because uh, algebraic fractions didn't come up. So something related to this should most probably come up somehow. So we want to um, show that this algebraic fraction equation simplifies to this quadratic equation. Now in order to do this, <clears throat> what I would suggest we do is we take the left hand side of this equation and we combine it into one fraction. Okay, there's different methods to do in doing this, but I like to um, follow the same method as we do for normal fractions because what you've got to realize is when it comes to algebra, um, it's actually just using letters instead of numbers, but the principles are all the same. So when I want to add or subtract two fractions, I want I have to make the denominators the same, and then I can, you know, so I have to convert them into equivalent fractions, equivalent fractions, and then I can, um, you know, subtract the numerator. So if you have two, uh, you know, denominators here, to find the common denominator, you could say you can just multiply them together, especially when you've got algebra. So you're going to have 2x plus 11 multiplied by, so you put it in brackets, multiplied by x minus 4, and minus, and this will have the same denominator, 2x plus 11 times x minus 4. And the other side, no problem, we can keep it as a half. Okay. Now, what did I have to do to the 2x plus 11 to make it become 2x plus 11 times x minus 4? Well, obviously, I multiplied it by x minus 4, so I must do the same to the numerator. What did I have to do to, to, to x minus 4 to make it 2x plus 11 times x minus 4? Well, obviously, I multiplied it by 2x plus 11. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to put 1 times 2x plus 11. I'm going to be careful because there's a negative sign here. If there was a positive sign here, I would have just put 2x plus 11. I wouldn't bother about the, the 1 here. But you've got to be very careful when there's a negative sign before a fraction like this. Okay, so take great care. So I'm going to leave it as a 1, then put a bracket in 2x plus 11. Okay, now once you have made the denominator the same, we can write it under one whole numerator. Okay, so now it's a common denominator, so we can write it together, and we can just subtract the, nu the, the numerators from each other. So one whole denominator, sorry, and we subtract the, denom the numerators. <clears throat> so here we have on this side 2, two times x minus 4, which is 2x minus 8. Now I'm not going to multiply this side out, Okay, until I've written it out properly because of that minus sign. If there was no minus sign here, I would have just multiplied it out. But I want to be careful because this is where a lot of people get tripped up when there's a minus sign before a fraction like this. Now what I'm going to do in the next step, I'm going to multiply out. So 2x minus 8 minus 2x minus 11. Okay, many people that have put minus 2x plus 11 because they don't write this, min they don't put the 1 here and they'll just say straight away minus 2x plus 11 but it's actually minus 2x minus 11 and you have 2x plus 11 and x minus 4 equals a half so this can be now simplified, you've got 2x minus 2x which is disappeared and you've got minus 8 minus 11 which is negative 19 so you have minus 19 over 2x plus 11 times x minus 4 equals a half. I'm just going to move on to this side here. So now we have, we can just cross multiply. So you have minus 38, 2 times minus 19, equals, and here you're going to have 2x plus 11 times x minus 4. Let me just tidy it up. It's a bit messy. Okay, times x minus 4. So now we can expand this side. You're going to have 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And 2x times minus 4, which is minus 8x. And 11 times x, which is plus 11x. And 11 times minus 4, which is negative 44. Okay, so now we'll bring everything to one side. We're going to have uh, 2x squared minus, uh, that's going to be minus, sorry, it's going to be plus 3x. You've got minus 8x plus 11x plus 3x. have a minus 44 plus 38. 
So let's do what 44 minus 38 is first. 3, 4, 6, 6, right? That's 2 plus 4, 6, yeah. So that's going to be uh, minus 44 plus 38, which is negative 6. And there we are. We've got it. 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. I think I have to restart my computer soon because things are lagging. So 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0, as required in the question and there we are so it's just a simple case of adding these or subtracting these two fractions and taking care of the minus sign here okay that's where a lot of people i think make mistakes in questions like this okay so thank you for listening or watching